Welcome back, my friend. This is your host, Neil Cross. Well, we're not playing anything today. We're this is just a small tutorial video of how to become a hybrid a hybrid player like me. That means you'll be able to play with controller and mouse. And the thing is, it's not that hard. Actually, I think the learning curve is very, very small. So in a couple of hours, you will master the technique of the controller on the left hand. Now, disclaimers, just a couple of things. First of all, this game, this uh, video is not sponsored by anyone. All the brands I'm gonna be showing you in here, it's because I've used them. It's because I have more than, let's say, ever, th ever since 2009, I decided to... Well, it, it was not a decision of create this setup. Uh, it's not me who created it. I call it the cross setup. Uh, because it's a cross-playing between controller and, and keyboard. Also because Neil, Cro Neil Cross. But yeah. Also, you can call it the hybrid setup. For the same reasons. Because a hybrid in between console player and PC player. It's the good in the middle. Well, you know the, the, the saying, Jack of all trades, master of none? The thing is, there's a, an ending to that saying. Jack of all straight, Jack of all straight, master of none, but still better than master of one. Now, the thing is, this setup is gonna allow you to play every single FPS with the precision of the mouse and the comfortability of the controller. Now, let's start by the first things. There are two modes, or at least I am going to describe them as two different modes called the True Hybrid and the Emu Hybrid or Emu Hybrid. The True Hybrid is when you have a, a game like, for example, Black Desert Online. And the thing is with this setup, it allows you to have the best of both worlds. Of course, every single thing has their downside. No, nothing is perfect if it were, everyone will be using this. But the thing is, uh, there's many games I play with this one, as I said, Black Desert Online, also you maybe know that I play Knockout City, I play with a hybrid setup, setup. I play Children of Motra, Enter the Gungeon, Hyper Life Drifter is one of my favorite adventure, no dialogue, <laughs> amazing uh, action adventure game, and with a hybrid setup it's actually easier, the game, it feels more comfortable. Nuclear Throne, Terraria, Three of Savior, Cyberpunk, as I tell all the FPS I play now, I play with this setup, and Warframe too. Ah, there's many more that I play, but I just compile a small list. Now, now, before we go into a game, let's go really fast into some disclaimers. This is the program you're gonna be using, or at least the one I'm using is it's called Rewast. It allows you to emulate a controller as a keyboard, or also, if the controller is supported, it allows you to have full remap of your controller. I'm gonna put a link on the descriptions all the setups I've done. This this setups are made. Well, this one is not actually useful, but. All the setups I have, it's for a game in particular, and what I use for that game, and... So you can have every single one of them. Another disclaimer, I'm gonna be showing you which controllers and mouse I've used, and I recommend to use the setup. Though some, you are not, it's not locked to those controllers specifically, neither to the mouse. You can use whatever mouse you like, but be aware, this is the disclaimer. Controllers might, the, with the paddles on the back might not work. Probably will not work on the on this um, software. But if you can remap your controller by itself, for example, there's many, there's many, many uh, controllers that I will recommend that are remappable. Like, for example, this one. Uh, This one is, for me, this was the perfect controller for Dark Souls. Because 
first of all remap your your trackpad to pass and well pass and share in this scenario. I was I did remap those two to up and down so I can switch over my skills and the paddles on the back one was to run and dodge which was also remapping this one as you can see in here this is my dodge now and also the paddle on the back this one was my dodge too just in case I can well not just in case I use this to run move around and when I need precise input to dodge I use this one now this controller, as I said before, it was perfect for me for Dark Souls. Sadly, the paddles on the back broke, so I had to send it back to get a refund because it's no longer available. The risk is, for example, I'm gonna... I don't have an evil controller. I have a friend that have one, and I, I, I haven't tried it out. I haven't tried it out. He told me he's gonna land in me at one point or another, but he's his main controller, so it's gonna be a little hard. But this is a uh, this is a good brand that he recommends. I need to test it out. Well, if Evil Shift, if you wanna send me one, be my guest. Now this one I have bought one on AM IAM controller. I have one. It's this color. It's on PS4 one, and the fact that you have the trackpad makes it so much easier for some games. Now, the thing is, the, the paddles on the backs, since you can remap them in the controller itself, there's not much of a problem. Because you can remap all the, all the buttons in here, and then by yourself you remap the controller. Now, another controller, and probably the best controller you can use with this software, is the Microsoft Elite V2 or V1. Both of them are perfectly useful for this one. I have two V1s and one V2 and it's my main controller right now. The only complaint I have is please Xbox for the fucking love of sake make these buttons bigger. Get this one into a corner because we don't need to uh, to press this one very often just to light it up. But this one make like the half of this, or make it even a trackpad, it will be better for everyone. <clears throat> but the thing is, with the Elite one, since you have paddles on the back and the paddles are removable, is the most comfortable one to use. Also, it's completely... well, not completely, but some of the accessories are... Uh, uh, are compatible with the V1. For example, the the wheel, the paddles are compatible. The joysticks are not. The Elite Control is fully compatible with this software, so you can remap from here. Just need to click it, and you'll be able to see and change whatever you want. A couple of basic basic rules that if the controller slides, you're gonna have a big, big, big problem there. For example, one of the controllers that I do own, and sadly broke, at the, let's say, the first 10 hours of use, just because, uh, bad quality, is this one. Th no, sorry, this one. This one, in paper, seems better than the Elite controller, because not just you have the four paddles, though you cannot take it off, you have extra to clickable buttons which are similar to this ones it's like for me the perfect controller will be this with the back paddles of the elite elite controller it will be absolutely perfect that will be just the perfect controller for me you have four paddle you will have four paddles on the back that you can uh, take up whenever you want and those two extra that are absolutely beautifully placed so, Razer, if you ever do that one, and also don't do it on plastic, this this thing breaks. Do it just like this. This is the best one so far. I've never seen a best, a best configuration for paddles than this one. This is perfect. Don't switch it over. Even I prefer the 
the back paddles of the Elite 1 because they are a little bit longer. I still use my Elite 1s in combination of the Elite 2. I have the longer one down here and the shorter one down here. But yeah, so be careful about this one. Speedlink, Equinox, on paper it looks amazing. You can you can change a lot of stuff and you have a little ace what you see there when the 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 word that says well the brand that says Speedlink is actually a little screen that you can switch over stuff with those two wheels. But yeah. Now going back to the setup and how you do this now let's go back to the program and let's make one from scratch that way you're gonna know how to do it it's very simple let's go make a new one it's gonna be very easy this is gonna be just a test knuckle city test ko and we're gonna be adding this is a clean setup i don't have not even my my curves on the on the analog this is pure clean no. Cancel. Now, how do you set up for... If you want to play a specifically Knockout City that it doesn't allow you to have a controller and mouse at the same time, you're gonna need to... Uh, to remap it as a keyboard. You have this magic wand that allows you to make some remaps on the way, but... Since we're not doing that, we're gonna be going really fast into this one. If, first of all, the WSD, simple, you can click right in here. Click into this, now you have the WSD already into that one. The problem is, at this moment, you have both up and the joystick running, so... Oh yeah, I don't, I haven't... I haven't applied. I'm sorry. I forgot. I need to apply this one. Okay. Now I apply. This is my movement. This... Since the game prioritized the controller... As you can see on the... On the overlay... I am moving... Uh, there we go. I am moving with the controller... And the mouse, both of them are moving at the same time, but I cannot move my mouse. I, I just can't. Now I move my mouse. Every time I start, I'm not gonna start moving. I'm not gonna start moving. Every time I start moving, I start moving with the controller, it blocks my mouse. So what do you do with that one? Pretty simple. You go back into here and, oh, you go back into here and you mute the when you put mute it's gonna mute the controller part part of the the, the, the controller behavior of this uh, uh, of the controller I mean it's gonna unmap the controller buttons so now I can move oh well no because I didn't apply I need to apply that one remember apply is very important even I that I've been playing with this setup for a long time I forget about that one. Now you see, you can move and aim perfectly whenever you want. But of course, now the controller overlay is not moving because I've muted. You can only emulate this one. Now, what is the next skill that I need? Probably jump. I need to jump. Where do I put it? My first intuition is the one I'm gonna be using the most. So it's gonna be on the left side on this one. Native, I can go for controller, but as I said before, it's gonna be blocked, so you need to go mute on this one. And what is jump? Jump is space, just click it, apply. There we go, now I can jump. Now I can move, okay, now I can move and jump. Now I need flips. Well, the flips, I do it on the, contr on the mouse. So, this is just a way to show you an example. You're probably not gonna have this mouse and probably not gonna have this brand. Who knows? Maybe, yeah. Well, probably, yeah. It's one of the most no knowledgeable brands that are, they are in here. So, 
Oh yeah, I don't have... It's on default. There we go. In here, I put every single thing that I need to play Knockout City. The flips and spin on those two ones on my mouse. And now we need the dodge. The dodge, I'm gonna put it on the paddling here. Remember, mute. And the dodge, I think, is controller, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, it's controller. There we go. Now I can jump. Dodge. Oh, this is not good. I don't want to catch with that one because I have my catch on my mouse. What is the other... Well... In here, the only thing I... Oh, crap. The only thing I don't have by default on this side is the sprint. Which usually I will have it on toggle. Well, not usually. Before auto, it was... I, I have it on toggle. So, for sprinting... Are gonna be using the, the remember this is very important this is very important put a lot of attention to this one because sprinting in in a game usually it means you need to hold a long time that one so i'm gonna be using one that is comfortable to hold which is gonna be my left trigger or the l2 on playstation now let's switch put this one you're gonna mute you're gonna click you can search for the input in here but I uh, just click what you want shift is what goes for running apply go back to the game and now I can run and keep running all I want now I can run dodge fl flip wait what am I missing just the pass once I have the pass Oh, I have it on my mouse. Okay, now I can play. I literally just can go play. Where are you, my friend? Here he is, Knockout City 1. This is the full working setup. I use this for the menus, for everything. And now... You... You can have one too. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed doing it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember, balls on me. Tutorials also on me, the hybrid setup on me, and I'll be recording. Haha, <laughs> bye bye. Yo. Hmm, I think this was pretty nice. I hope people will get better at this. Yeah.